This video covers the worker population ratio aspect. Now you must be wondering what is the worker population ratio. To do that, first understand this concept. Let's say this box represents the total population of a country. Now this population will comprise of, let's say men, women, children and retired people. Okay. Now let us say the total population of each one of them is 100. So the total population of the country becomes 400. Now out of this 400, the retired people, let's say none of them is working. Children, of course, they are not supposed to work. They are not working because they are studying. Let's say out of the women, 40 are working. And out of the men, let's say 95 are working. Now, so the total number of people who are working in this country is 135. Okay. Let's now understand what do you mean by worker population ratio. Worker population ratio basically I mean, even if you don't look at this definition, means the number of people who are working vis-a-vis -vis the total population of a country. So ratio of population of a country that is contributing to the production of goods and services, which is what? Which is in this number that we have taken, or in the sum is this, which is 135 to the total population of a country this has to be off divided by 400 so this is what the worker population ratio is so the total number of workers when divided by the total population of a country gives you the worker population ratio and let's say this comes to around uh, 2 not 2 actually 3 3.75% So this is basically giving you an estimate of the employment situation in a country Right? 